Welcome friends back to Farmer Pat's YouTube and Instagram channels. Does hinge cutting trees really provide additional habitat, cover, and food for animals like deer and rabbits? Well, here we are about two weeks after I performed this thick area of hinge cuts and we had some fresh snow yesterday. Sure enough, underneath all this, I have evidence that rabbits have now moved into a new section of the land where previously they did not walk around and graze for food because there was no cover. So these hinge cuts have provided effective cover for the rabbits, making them feel safe to come underneath here, to go about their business, to make doo-doo, to make caca. But also, these rabbits down here, if you look, they're eating the bottoms of the branches here. Like I said, they're gonna feast on the buds and they're gonna feast on the tips of the branches. This is a vital source of food for animals like deer and rabbits in the winter time. Now how about the deer? Have the deer taken to these hinge cuts I've performed? Have they used them? I'm gonna go show you that right now. Okay friends, remember I said if you perform hinge cuts on trees, the deer will now be able to browse on the ends of the branches and on the buds, which once again are a vital source of food for these animals in the winter time. And sure enough, all around me, the evidence is indicating that this is indeed going on. So yes, it is absolutely worth it to perform hinge cuts on trees out in the woods. And better is to perform a few hinge cuts in the same area, because now you're making it very thick for the animals to bed down, and they have a lot of different options of food available.